Hey guys, King Gath here, and welcome to episode 32 of my Fallout Sim Settlements Forever Let's Play. Uh, today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. In fact, a couple of things a little bit different. So uh, I had uh, a week I missed there for uh, personal reasons, and um, when I came back... The uh, something had happened that I've been waiting for. So many of you guys may have seen a little mod come out called the Machine in Her, and the creator of that, Nika Cola, is actually on the Sim Settlements team, and she used a chunk of that mod uh, as her demo reel to uh, get us recruiting her onto the team. So I've known about this mod for quite a while, and I've been really, really wanting to play it, and. I promised her I wouldn't do it on camera until she had a chance to put out a couple of patches. And so she put out the second patch uh, over this last, uh, within the last week or so, maybe it was uh, a week and a half ago. But anyway, uh, so now I feel like I'm free to play this mod on camera. So, uh, and it turns out, uh, according to Nika, that uh, Kit, the main character in there, will make a fantastic companion for my uh, Raider Gath that uh, we've been building up with this playthrough. So this is gonna be awesome. So I've never experienced this. I've seen one little snippet of it. Uh, that she again that she used in her demo, but otherwise I've avoided watching any let's plays of this. So I have very I have almost no knowledge of what's about to go down. Um, so if you guys haven't checked out this mod, uh, uh, and this may be your opportunity to do so, but I obviously recommend you guys check out all of the mods that I'm playing with. So that's the only new mod I installed this week because I didn't want to risk destabilizing my game any more than I already have. Uh, but I did uh, take note of all the suggestions you guys made on my last episode, so I will get that updated and we'll get back to uh, Conqueror raiding and uh, going through the quest line and stuff but i really really just want to play this and be given how little time i actually have to play fallout 4 anymore i'm just going to be playing all mods like this on camera for you guys uh, i also Attention know passengers. oh that's loud. Please report any lost items to our fast and friendly service department. All right, then. Uh, I also know this mod is a little more serious in tone, and uh, anytime I go through the story con story content the first time of any mod or game, I tend to be a little more quiet. So I uh, apologize if you guys don't get much commentary out of me. Hopefully this is still entertaining just because this is uh, uh, a very good mod from uh, every review I've heard of it. Uh, let's see here. Oh, good. I can use that in power armor. Looking for some stuff. Found some things. What are you looking for? A radio transmitter. I love the look of this terminal. of having all this stuff on here while you're in this screen. That's pretty cool. Oh, there's a lot to read here. Uh, I'm going to just uh, read it real quick. I'm, I'm, I'm definitely not reading as fast as, as this. Um, this is more just like so anybody who wants to pause the video can read through all these things. Um, I will come back and read this off camera, but, uh, whoops, skipped one. Nightmare. Ooh, that's a long one. Hopefully I didn't, oh, I hope I didn't miss any other secondary screens in some of these. I might have. Apologies. Um, okay, here. Wait, back? What am I doing? I'm trying to back out of the, out of the terminal. It's not working. Uh, did I click on this one yet? Yeah, that's that was weird. I want to turn around very, very slowly. No chance. Here's what happens next. You keep your hands where I can see them, turn and face the exit, and then leave the way you came in. You clearly haven't been watching this Nicely. Lately. Slowly. First warning's also the last. Start walking or stop breathing. Well, hello there, darling, and welcome to Symphony Station. Agnes. You're awake. Well, of course I am. Agnes is a 24-7 type of gal, after all. Oh, wherever yeah. are my manners? Can I offer either you an ice-cold soda while you wait for the train? Or perhaps a Boston Bugle hot off the presses? 
Or if you're feeling lost in our beautiful new subway station, just ask Agnes, and I'll get you pointed in the right direction. Okay, Agnes. Why don't I give our visitor a quick tour of the station? Myself. Well, that would be just fine, young lady. Come on. We'll uh, start with the bathroom. Uh, I wonder how she handles this. Can I... Oh, do you gotta just heal so I can't pull uh -huh. my, combat, my my gun out? I don't know how you did this, Nico, but I don't like it. Uh-huh. Well, here we are. No, no. <laughs> Two questions. First, who sent you here? You either tell me who sent you here, or you leave. Whether that's on your own two feet or on your back makes no difference to me. Either way, do not test me. I'm, I'm tempted to just keep spamming none of your business and just see what happens. Ah, what's that? What the, what the hell? We're, we're only a couple minutes into You've it. You've got about 30 seconds to clear out. Oh, yeah? Got bad news for you. Wait, my stuff's stuck. Ah, no, auto save. No. Let's see. Does this work? Oh, sorry, Kit. We have the execute perk. Just kidding. We're not gonna do that. Damn it. I thought I shut that thing down. She shouldn't be wasting so much power on it. Second question. Did you do anything to Agnes before I found you? Did you touch anything? Mess with anything? Hmm. Is there an option to say I read your journal? Because Agnes, she, she woke up. Well, you were there. And I was trying to figure out if maybe you'd done something to make her do that. The thing is, I need help. There's something wrong with Agnes. I've been trying to fix her for months, but I keep running into problems. I'm a sucker for digging all the way Cover the... your back when we get oh, into trouble. In return, you help me get what I need to make Agnes better. Her. And yes, I can. You don't think I know that? Look. Call her whatever you want. I'm not going to argue with you about it. There are times when she's... We talk to each other. She listens to me, tells me stories. But then... Something happens to her. She forgets where she is. And even who she is. She forgets me, like we never even met. After a while of being like that, she'll start to remember her original programming. Some kind of pre-war automated assistance, or something like that? I'm not really sure. When she fully comes back, she says she was in her dark place. And, uh, the last few weeks, it's been taking longer and longer for her to come back. That's why I wanted to know if you'd touched or changed anything when you got here. Before now, she'd been gone for almost a week solid. If 
if the usual pattern holds, she'll only want to tell you about the weather and things like that. For a while, anyway. Uh, that action's back again. Let's there are again. times when she's... No. Mm -hmm. But then... <laughs> something... She forgets sure. after a while. Right. Some kind of... Uh -huh. When she fully got uh -huh. the last few... Mm -hmm. That's why I wanted to know. If the oh, usual... for the skip button. Didn't mean to do that. It's weird, sometimes the dialogue options disappear when they're no long, when I've already heard them and sometimes they don't. Well, the less you know about me, the better. I can say that I generally prefer the subtle, quiet approach to solving problems. Hey, uh... But if you're a wreck and rage type, yep. I can help you widen your blast radius too. Okay, let's do that. All you really need to know is that I'm useful when and where it counts. Wouldn't have lived this long, or traveled this far, if I wasn't. It's quite the knife. Uh, okay, let's see here. Um, you don't Funny. look like much of a fighter. Look, I survived long enough to find this place, didn't I? I'll handle myself out there. Trust me on that. Yeah, well, I have no idea what Outlanders use for money. But when I first got to this station, I found and broke into an old safe, packed full of pre-war cash. I'll take it. And gumdrops, for her. You can keep some those. reason. Oh, and hey, if I get killed, you can keep my boots and my sidearm. Well, I mean, Otherwise, if that's what you're offering, I can just roll back to that other save. Done. Not the gumdrops, though, if you don't mind. Uh, okay, we'll help. All right, I have almost everything I need. Dad should get her back up and running. On one of her lucid days, she gave me a list of parts that we'll need. I've gotten all of them, except for two. There's a scrapyard west of here. That's the next place I was headed, so I figure we could start there. And... Hey. Thanks. Alright, well now I want to go talk to Agnes. Ooh, ooh, my carry weight mod just kicked in. What is my... Oh, I gotta check this now. Okay, wait, what's going on? A whole bunch of stuff just changed. Uh, let's see here. Well, first of all, how much carry weight? Oh, yeah, 700 pounds. Now I'm now we're talking. I love that mod. Uh, I think Dillbill is the creator. Thank you. <laughs> Great mod. Uh, now we can really... I, I actually made the effort to go empty uh, a bunch of my inventory. And wait, what's going on here? I have to have the radio off. Hopefully that's not going to flag me. I'm going to run out for a little bit. But we'll be back soon, okay? If this is your first time traveling to Boston, you can see come out and say hello to me, Agnes. <laughs> let's... let's just get going. Agnes, turn off the radio. Ladies, are you doing your part to support the war effort? Ask Agnes today about exciting home front opportunities with Waves. Oh, you know what? I think Kit has the ability I can, like, command her to unlock things. How does this work? Um, hey, got a sec. What's up? Uh, let's talk All settings. Right. Within the two-way radio, listen to your material is Kit's radio. Okay, never mind then. All right, let's uh, let's look at that thing. Cause she said she's stealthy. We don't have time for that. Whoa, that's loud. What's that oh wow. Oh, oh. We gotta escape. Oh, Mabel forgot to set a timer and left a roast in the oven uh, too long. It's Looks so loud. Like so I've I've noticed that the uh, one of the mods that's probably getting the axe when I uh, change characters is gonna be the uh, audio overhaul. It like changes all of the. Um, I can't, I can't remember exactly what which mod it was, but uh, anyway, one of my mods messes with all the audio settings, and it completely screwed up uh, a couple of uh, scenes in uh, some of our quests earlier in Conqueror. So that was getting the axe. I think that was what was going on there. What made everything so crazy loud and echoey? 
Okay, so I'm not sure if this was, uh, if I ran into a bug or something and it could be just my monster load order because there's, there's a bunch of stuff right around here that was custom edited by various mods. Um, and so I think it might have broke the nav mesh because Kit did not follow me. But I was able to use the radio she drops in to summon her to me. So uh, I know there's a bunch of stuff we can do in there. I watched, I did watch a little bit of somebody else playing in there and they were doing... Um, uh, using some ability to make Kit do uh, unlock doors and stuff, but I think one of the problems that I have again, and this is a, a mod pro problem we need solved in the community in general, is that in general you can only have, let's see where we headed before I uh, continue talking, oh I think we're going to fast travel up there, uh, but anyway one of the things we have a problem with is that you can only have two activation options on anything, and I have so many mods that add activation options that I'm getting a lot of conflict, so I think that the locking, or the unlock system I think that I need, I have too many other mods that are uh, trying to access that same thing, so it's not really possible, but we're going to fast travel, and uh, we'll get moving accordingly. Whoa. Whoa. All right, Kit, time to show me what you can do. This one's yours. Kit, behind you. Who said that? Hey, that was pretty slick. All right. Well, you're uh, you're holding your weight so far. Hey, loot. Okay, you guys need to watch me loot. Let's uh, fast forward. I don't think I've visited this place yet, so that means we get some. Oh, uh, so something somebody pointed out something in the comments that I almost didn't think about uh, during the episode when we had to make the choice between the cults and the forged. And you guys had a great point that when we go with the forged, I get this awesome new melee weapon upgrade. So I got Krem's tooth here, which this thing is just disgusting. So much damage. Love it. And it just looks cool. Uh, so we are definitely rocking that. Sorry, Machete, you finally had to go. I had that Machete forever. Oh, uh, hello, sir. Oh, and for anyone wondering, yes, I still got Big Jim. He... Hey, boss. Settlement. We work settlement. Oh, he's from one of the uh, one of the leader uh, random settler mods. Um, okay, cool. So, uh, yeah, work what for do me. You think about coming to work for me. Settlement. <laughs> uh, I think I've been using Red Rocket as my placeholder for all these. I've got so many guys now. I got the 51 at Sanctuary. Oh, are you uh, already commenting on what's going on here? Sorry, interrupting your your moment. Uh, but yeah, we've got like 51 uh, Settlers of Sanctuary. And then I think I've found like six or seven other people still that uh, you guys probably haven't seen on camera that I've just been stockpiling in a settlement. We'll eventually probably start another one. Eventually, probably. Uh, ooh, here we go. What do we got? Now, that's garbage. Um, but we'll eventually... Sure, I'll take some jets. We'll eventually probably uh, start another settlement, and then I'll have somewhere to put all those folks. All right, let's uh, see what Kit was after now. Enough getting sidetracked by random other mods. But I won't not get sidetracked by loot, because I need more shotgun shells. What's my shotgun shell situation? 32. That is no good. Oh, whoa. Okay. okay. All right. There we go. That looks like it should work. There's just one more thing we need to get. There's a radio station southeast of here. We need a vacuum tube, and I'm pretty sure one would be there. I bet we have one in our workbench. We could just go get that. <laughs> uh, okay, let's. Uh, all right, made it over the radio station. Like Don't have the key. Hopefully, this oh. won't take long. Are you gonna? Oh, it's unlocked now. Okay, I was like, you gonna lockpick that for me? Or... All right, and Rabo is back with some more stuff for us. Um, so one he caught that uh, I think went under the radar 
is a mod that came out really early last year called Sim Settlements Foundations. And that is uh, by Hamed912, a bunch of numbers. And uh, he released a bunch of big foundations you could build plots on with snap points and everything. And he recently updated it uh, just at the end of September. And so it's got some new foundations. So if you are, you're not using that already, you should go check that out. And then uh, next we have a, another new faction pack. And that is the U.S. Army Faction Pack. So I know this is another uh, brand new author, Cammy's 2311. This is his first mod. And I'm sure if you guys are interested in having a unique faction pack, then uh, check out his work and give him your support. And then lastly, this is one that uh, by now has surely made hot files. And a uh, friend of the Ma of the Sim Settlements team, so I gotta promote his stuff. Monkey Spunk does fantastic work. He just released a Diamond City story, which is a mod he's been working on for a very long time. And this adds a new section to Diamond City, adds new quests, a bunch of new workshop items, really, really detailed mod. A lot of content in there, so can't recommend that one enough. So go check out a Diamond City story by Monkey Spunk. Here we go. Who's this guy? Almost done. Almost outdone, indeed. Wait. Up ahead. Deal with the librarian. Okay. Who is Maybe. Um, wait, no, I don't want to talk to you. Can I, where's the... Greetings, travelers, and welcome to no, the I'm Boston sorry, I'm looking for the murder library. option. Your weapons. Ah, so many weapons. Leave them at the door, if you please because here we aim to learn and learn to aim or not wait uh, 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 uh. come get uh. there we go dealt with him all right got his key Good thing you're traveling with a raider. You would have spent a lot of time yapping on with that nut job. Let's see. Here we go. Okay, I was warned about something. I'll relay the warning. As I, th I think this was the warning. I guess there's a weird quirk with the game engine where if you hit take all on the screen that uh, it can get the quest stuck because I guess there's the uh, stages don't fire correctly. Some w That's a real strange bug in this game engine. Uh, so I'm going to do take. Yeah, okay, it worked. Cut. You're here. It would seem you didn't quite make it as far as the ocean after all. Too bad. No. Get away from me. You were not given instruction to speak. Were you? Uh, what's going on here? <laughs> I'm afraid your questions will go unanswered, Waster. Because she is a machine, and machines cannot respond to questions which they have not been instructed to answer. Uh... I little care to debate the precise definition of machine with you. Indeed, I've heard of your synthetic metal men. They're of no concern to me or my people. This herald was delivered not of metal, but of flesh. Just as you or I, but for a purpose that cannot be explained in these rapidly withering moments of my patience. Oh, I hope I get to kill you. I answer only when addressed by my betters. For now I have come only to reclaim possession of the weapon standing before you, which you unlawfully possess and no doubt irresponsibly command. To try and delay us, or complicate my objective, would be unwise, as I do not favor your chances of success. Mm -hmm. Oh, I've got strong charisma. Oh, you know what, I think I, oh, maybe this is just gonna fail? I don't know, I'm pretty sure I just ate uh, some food off camera that gave me a big boost to charisma, because that is definitely not something I invested points in. We are the Shrike. Devourers of the world that was, and bringers of the world to come. To know more now would make us enemies. Far sooner than the appointed time. What? 
Uh, Yours is the world of doubts, Waster. Ours is that of order and stricture. Yours is the world of doubts, Waster. Ours is that of order and stricture. The dead vagrant in the oh, corner. I will repeat line there. Yes, I know the work of a Shrike Herald when I see it. It is a thing of beauty. Nope, Two shots me. to center mass. A clean job as always. Incorrect. Do your eyes allow you to One doubt that ahead. such a clean kill would be committed by whatever sort of child you suspect this to be? Allow me to speculate. You ordered her to kill that man, did you not? She did not, of her own volition, raise her weapon and fire? And if I may further speculate, she's been following you around for however long she's been escaped from my custody following whatever orders you've given her. Almost, you might say, has might a machine given instruction? Well, you got a couple of those things wrong, first of all. Second of all, Fallout 4 and that damn camera over the shoulder thing that happens so much when we're doing quest design. So, Nika, I apologize if that's ha had to happen uh, on camera. It happens to us all the time with Conqueror stuff. Um, where's the option that says, you are wrong, I shot the guy? Maybe that wasn't prepared for. Isn't it, though? If I had to guess, I would say she complied quite willingly. An accurate guess. Is it not? Enough talk. Step aside while I collect my property and quit this ungodly waste as quickly as possible. You see, kid, doesn't it feel better to do as instructed? To be instructed? <laughs> Good job, dog. Oh, I'm sure you've been enjoying this little game of yours, but now it's time to come home, don't you think? What are you doing here? Your sister is like here because that is my will. Really cool again. And really makes me feel like uh, function, I'm witnessing the beginning of a new Fallout game. dictated by her purpose. Perhaps you should meditate upon her example as we journey back to the territories. Perhaps also pray. And if you are yet righteous enough to be heard, then let us hope the priests will remember the considerable investment you represent. Oh man, there's so much cool lore being dropped. I feel like I'm, I literally so feel like I'm watching weapon. the beginning of a new Fallout game. Our time in this rotting shack is concluded, Waster. Stand aside. Oh, man, the you know, the raider answer is definitely B. <laughs> but I also just want to murder this guy. But we're gonna, let's, let's see what happens if I do this. I suppose you have kept the instrument alive and in comparatively fair shape. Very well, Outlander. I am prepared to offer you a measure of quittance. A weapon far finer than anything that could be constructed beyond the walls of my home. I do like weapons. And as well a considerable ration of purified water and food I had brought from my wayward herald in the event that she had been captured. But since it was the illusion of choice that gave her cause to leave her home and abandon her function, then perhaps the illusion of food and water will quiet her belly when it groans and her throat when it gasps. That place... Don't let them take me back there. <laughs> Please. I see there is yet much work to do on remembering to only speak when instructed. This work will begin immediately. And for your sake, I hope she'll be concluded before we reach the territories. You know, there's a problem with your logic, buddy, is that if you've got a gift for me, then I can just take it off of your corpse. So... Uh, let's see here. You already know more than most beyond our walls are privileged to, Waster. For your sake, I suggest you leave it alone. Alright, let's see if we can do the old Fallout 4 trick of... No, not, 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 not that. Let's go this way and... And that. How's that work? A keeper. Our path through chaos, the homeward star. What will we do now, sister? What will we do? Please, don't hurt her. She's helpless without Alec. Cat, listen to me very carefully. You don't belong here. Go home. That's all you have to do. You know the way home. I know you do. 
And I know you can get there on your own. Go west, through a broken rock. Then keep moving until you see the gates. She'll be alright. Let's just... Let's just get out of here. I'd... Just... It's a long story. Or another time, maybe. I'd just like to get this stuff back to Symphony Station. And to check on Agnes. Please. Uh, let's see here. First, let's see. Does he have this amazing gun he promised you? Plasma scatter gun? That does sound cooler than... Uh, also, I found fortunate, unfortunately for you. And he had the water. Um, I'm not going to take your clothes. They are pretty cool looking. But I actually, well, let's see. Maybe I can wear them underneath. Show my victory over uh, these crazy territory people. Okay, well, let's check out this weapon here. What do we got? What do we got? Plasma scatter gun. Boosted tactical. Ooh, is this like a plasma shotgun? Uh, still not, it's nothing quite as satisfying for me as a shotgun. Sorry, buddy, but thank you. Thank you for trying. Um, uh, apologize, uh, more apologies to, uh, to Nika for doing probably something that she didn't anticipate many people doing. And I bet some tester out there did what I did thinking he was being funny and like, no one would ever do this, but why not? Uh, of backing out of the conversation and just executing without waiting things to go forward think I'm actually going to do a little rewind because I actually want to see what he says. Because um, that was definitely not how the mod's meant to be played. And I, as a quest designer now, I, I get really upset when people do this. So I'm not going to be uh, the jerk to uh, Nika and do this on camera. So we're going to do another little rewind and we're going we're gonna to replay a little bit of that scene. Almost done. Almost. Hmm? Wait. Up ahead. Who is that? A library with empty shelves and books on the floor. Why, that's a pigsty, and nothing more. I guess we better talk to him. See if he's going to get in our way. Um, what's going on with you, buddy? Books on floor, not all right. Books on shelves, quite all right. Oh, it's Dr. Seuss. I have to read a lot of your stuff. A for place my kid. for everything and everything in space. Uh, let's go with that one. A nut, perhaps. Perhaps a nut. But more importantly, I am a nut with a job. A nut job. Oh, yeah. This guy's not insane at all. Nope. Vacuum two, vacuum three, vacuum four. Or do you have, you know, any idea what that even is? You're in a radio station, after all. Oh no, 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 no. See, I don't believe in that sort of nonsense. Radios, gonna put us librarians right out of business, you know? I tossed every bit of that hogwash into a locker, out of sight, out of mind, out of time. Locked it up tight, too, of course, so the radio waves won't infect my brains, or my books, or my books on brains. We don't have time for games. Yeah, I agree. Just give us the key to the locker. Oh, A key who needs the key indeed. I don't think we're going to get anywhere with him. Uh, yeah, I agree. Whoa. Uh, what is this? Plus strength. He's, oh, I like this. What is this menu? Um, maybe he'll just give you the key if you ask nicely. He's weak, confused, no reason to waste time arguing. Take him out. Killing him seems extreme. Uh... <laughs> I Yes Of course I do Alright I'll take care of it I mean I'm, I'm happy to do it All right, I have It's done shotgun here. Let's get what we need from him and get out of here 
Okay. Oh, that was it. I think I hit take and not take all. Oh god, You're let's hope here. I didn't break it. Seem you didn't quite make it as far as the ocean after all. Too bad. No. Get away from me. You were not given instruction to speak. Were you? I'm afraid your questions will go unanswered, Waster. Because she is a machine, and machines cannot respond to questions which they have not been instructed to answer. Mm. I answer only when addressed by my betters. For now I have come only to reclaim possession of the weapon standing before you, which you unlawfully possess and no doubt irresponsibly command. To try and delay us, or complicate my objective, would be unwise, as I do not favor your chances of success. Yours is the world of doubts, Waster. Ours is that of order and stricture. Yours is the world of doubts, Waster. Ours is that of order and stricture. Uh, oh, okay, so that wasn't me the dead that. vagrant the in the corner. Yes, I know the work of a Shrike Herald when I see it. It is a thing of beauty. Two shots to center mass. A clean job, as always. Oh, see, that would have been way more impressive if I had actually let that play out correctly the first time. Such a clean kill would be committed by whatever sort really of cool child moment. you suspect this to be. Allow me to speculate. You ordered her to kill that man, did you not? She did not, of her own volition, raise her weapon and fire? And if I may further speculate, she's been following you around for however long she's been escaped from my custody following whatever orders you've given her almost you might say has might a machine given instruction isn't it though if i had to guess i would say she complied quite willingly an accurate guess is it not enough talk Step aside while I collect my property and quit this ungodly waste as quickly as possible. You see, kid, doesn't it feel better to do as instructed? To be instructed? Oh, I'm sure you've been enjoying this little game of yours, but now it's time to come home, don't you think? What are you doing here? Your sister is here because that is my will. Wait, I think she got hit by the brown face bug leave too. Of her function, she complied as dictated by her purpose. Perhaps you should meditate upon her example as we journey back to the territories. Perhaps also pray. And if you are yet righteous enough to be heard, then let us hope the priests will remember the considerable investment you represent. And think better of destroying so valuable a weapon. Our time in this rotting shack is concluded, Waster. Stand aside. Yeah, we went through this already with your finder's fee. I get to just take it off of your corpse, so let's so get be right it. to it. May your body, as it rots, nourish the soil of the world to come, so that, at least, you will have carried you know, out your for you, purpose. my weapon's already so done, buddy. May your body, uh, as it rots, really nourish... Harold? Oops. Oh! oh. A keeper. Our path through chaos, the homeward star. Thanks for that. What will we do now, sister? What will we do? I, think I missed that first shot. Please, oh, don't hurt her. I don't know if I told you guys She's this, but I'm not great. Helpless shooters. without Alec. Cat, listen to me very carefully. You don't belong here. Go home. That's all you have to do. You know the way home. I know you do. And I know you can get there on your own. Go west, through a broken rock. Then keep moving until you see the gates. She'll be alright. Let's just... Let's just get out of here. I... Just... It's a long story. Or another time, maybe. I'd just like to get this stuff back to Symphony Station. And to check on Agnes, please. All right. Well, let's check.
double check, make sure I didn't leave anything. Uh, I kind of want this dude's outfit. I don't know if I, that, it almost looks like, I think it's a, it's probably a recolored Brotherhood of Steel, maybe. Looks really awesome. Um, I don't think I'll actually wear it though. And though I can really just take anything. Look at um, good old, wait a second. What happened to my companion weight? What's going on? Carry weight mod. What are you doing? Hook me up with Kit's weight. All right, I'll fix that off camera. Um, yeah, a little bit of looting. How I, how I missed this stuff earlier. All right, we're back. Still have the music playing. I don't know where this comes from. Hopefully, that stuff is not going to get me uh, Agnes, tagged. We're back, and we've got the parts you needed. Well, that's just wonderful. Now, Kit, I must ask you to run downstairs to Old Alfred's workshop and make sure those parts will work. Just to be sure it's all in good working order. We can't hardly be too careful, can we? What? Right now? Please, Kit. Fine, but I'll be back. Now then, darling, I must be quickly. Before I go dark again. Oh, here we go. I mean... Oh, how to explain. I am broken. Plain and simple. I guess you could say that the good folks at <laughs> Corporation put one hell of a battery inside me. But couldn't have been bothered to design a memory module worth a scratch. There are long stretches where I can't even remember the name they gave me. Or well, where I am. It... It's a dark place. Like I'm out of my mind. I mean the part of me inside. The part of me that thinks, decides, and... feels. Pain. Fear. Whoa. Um, let's see here. Oh, there's a lot of stuff. There's got to be a blood zone around here to pull. Yeah, that sounds like the Raider answer. But I do want to investigate. Maybe I can still answer that. I don't rightly know. I know I've got no arms, no legs, no face. But I am hurting. Honestly, I can't hardly begin to see the sense in it. But in any case, here we are. Here I am. Of... Of that. Of the emptiness I feel. All around me in every direction. And water. Of all the silly things. Isn't that something? I can't imagine there's a single drop of water to be found in this entire station. <laughs> I guess I can just hear not some right. trickling of water but around I'm me. just entirely terrified of being swallowed up, of drowning. Uh, let's see here. Believe me, if it were that simple, Alfred would have done the job the first time I asked him, some hundred years back. Believe me, if it were that simple, Alfred would have done the job the first time I asked him, some hundred years back. Nah, but I want to know who is Alfred. Believe me, if it were that simple, <laughs> you know, Alfred would have done one the could job argue the first time that this is just her AI bugging out and not an actual back. bug in the mind. We'll give it that credit. Uh, when did this happen? You mean, when did I start losing my mind? Honestly, darling, I couldn't straightly tell you. It's been lonely down here. No windows, no sun, no telling day from night. Time's been easy to lose. When Alfred's battery finally gave out, well, that's when things really went south. At least, could tell me the date and time when I asked. I believe the last day he told me was, it's getting so hard to remember. Let's try out the Alfred line one more time. Believe me, if nope. it would. Okay. <laughs> uh, let's see. Well, I have to ask you to forgive me for such an ugly request. 
What I am asking is for you to disrupt and then destroy my mainframe. I am asking that you end this, that you end me. Uh. Of course. What? <laughs> okay. Oh, here we go. All right, I was like, did they just give me the same options again? Uh, you know, I'm torn here between wanting to dive into the story and stay in character. It's a tough, it's a tough line to walk. Uh, let's see. Are you the only? I believe there are many, well, instances of my programming all across the city. Alfred had a peak once when giving me a monthly checkup. According to him, very little data stored in each individual unit. The last bits of my programming must come from somewhere else. But I'm afraid I don't know much about what that is, or where it is. Why, the good folks are just... <laughs> <laughs> I actually really like this, and I hope she never reveals which company it is, because that's a good way to avoid triggering uh, people who really love their lore and don't want uh, don't want this to interfere with the, uh, the canon. Let's see. I can't say I rightly know. And I realize how unhelpful that must be. All I know is that there are periods of time where I'm like this with you now. I can articulate my thoughts and speak my mind, such as it is. And then there's the other times when I go dark. But I can hardly recall what happens. When I come back, it's like I never left. And I find Kit in such a state about it. Alright, so the actual King Gantha answer would just be I'll do it, because I, I, not that I necessarily play the good guy, but I just always want to, like, get, dive into as many quests as possible, and those t tends to be the most RPGs written these days are designed that if you're just agreeable, you'll get the, uh, you'll get the most content, so, but Raider Gath says... I can't say I'm in any position to make you do anything you don't want to do, nor would I ask if not for... I must confess at this point that that I am not above begging. I'm so sorry, but please, <laughs> please help me. Hmm. Yeah, I wouldn't offer to fix. Yeah, I'm either. It's either. Yeah, I guess I'll destroy you, or I won't help you. My mind is made up. I'm really curious. <sighs> I'm torn. I'm torn here. Um, I wouldn't. Okay. Well, first of all, Radio Gas would never say. My mind is made up, so for for that reason alone, we'll go with I'll do it. You mean I'll that? use that as my my oh, I'd be personal so logic. Grateful, really, you've no idea just how much. But I'll be truthful. The task is liable to be a process. To start, I am not actually here in Symphony Station. I mean, before he passed on, poor Alfred dragged himself all over the place, pulling on every cord. Cable and conduit, he could get his hands off. Oh, spend his last scrap of power on it, too. But still, here I am. I must have a mainframe somewhere, broadcasting my program and awareness, I suppose it's called. And that mainframe, wherever it is, will have to be shut down and destroyed. Uh, uh oh, <laughs> the arrow is showing up instead of letters. Means my Xbox controller's died. Yes, I'm still on the wireless. I'll get it changed eventually. I'm afraid not. Alfred kept this place up and running in remarkably good shape right up until he passed, which means he knew this place inside and out. I wouldn't believe for a second there's anything he could have missed. Yes, well, well you make me want to explore the place I'm again. afraid that very question has turned out to be quite the bee in my body. I don't know exactly where I am. But based on the equipment in the maintenance closet, Alfred was convinced that I received my programming signals by way of radio waves. So, wherever my mainframe is broadcasting from, it's got to be somewhere in the Commonwealth. Well... Yes, as a matter of fact. 
I do have this advertisement for an Agnes store, located in Back Bay. It looks like they sold lots of me. <laughs> if the place is still standing, uh, perhaps there may be some clues there. Thank you so, so much for this, darling. You've really got no idea how much it means to me. There is just, well, one more little thing. It's Kit. Kill I can tell you plainly that she will not want to go along with what I Okay, okay, me. that's more reasonable. She wants to fix Sorry, me. Killing on the brain. She thinks, she thinks that's what those parts are for. When she first got here, I asked her to do, well, this. Exactly what I'm asking you to do now. We've been forming something like a bond. Quite possibly the first she's ever had. And when I asked, it just broke her heart. It's my fault. Oh, she's... She's just a child. She wants to help me, but... Hasn't got the heart to. And nor should she. Nor should she. Do you understand? I don't know if the right thing to do is to lie to her or... Tell her the truth and try and... Talk her into it. That, darling, I'm afraid I shall have to leave to you. All right, it's done. Uh, what are you two talking about? Oh, you needn't worry, darling. Our friend here was just... All right. Hey, uh, come here for a second. Oh, would I like to be honest with her? Uh, Still writing out your shopping list by hand? Get with the program, ladies. Get at this! Raider Gap, if he gets the opportunity, Raider Gap absolutely just, or just is like, I have no allegiance to a machine, I'll tell her what's up. You do know I'm not an idiot, right? Uh, I've been down here for months, trying to fix her, trying to help her. I think I've got a good idea of what she needs to get her back to full capacity, to keep her memory intact, and to keep the dark place away. And when I installed the parts we collected downstairs, it didn't boost her power levels like she told me it would. It actually boosted her broadcasting signal. Did she tell you what those parts were really for? Uh, let's see. Uh, yep. What? No. If you even try to hurt her. Let's see, what do we got here? She's got advanced neural degradation. This is all we can do. Uh, <laughs> that's for a reason. <laughs> uh, I did decide I was like a super brainiac raider and I think I've got like 10 in intelligence, so we can go with that. We'll take the plus on the intelligence. There's always another option. I know there is. There has to be. Uh, let's see. This is what she wants. Uh, yeah, we'll go the. And that's all that matters, isn't it? Maybe it is. Let's get to the acne store, like she asked us. I have a feeling there's something we're still missing. All right, well, that was a great little intro. I'm very, very intrigued. I want to know uh, more what's going on, Agnes. I want to. I really want to get to the uh, the other territories, I think they were called, um, and find out what the heck's going on over there. Uh, so yeah, that would be freaking sweet. Uh, but I think uh, I'm gonna go on a looting spree here because there's probably all sorts of cool stuff. If I find anything that interesting story-wise, I'll uh, pipe back in. Otherwise, you guys will catch me. Whoa, that's loud. Hello. Whether you're having trouble juggling your busy schedule. Oh man. Oh, oh, there we go. I had to pause that. Whew, that's a way to do it. Uh, otherwise, you guys will catch me back in Sanctuary. <laughs>